Hello guys and welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about how to install unofficial applications on your Synology NAS. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of good apps on your Synology NAS platform. You know, despite you know some applications may be network only and other applications being a lot more first party than third, there's still no denying that there's already quite a lot of third party applications readily available on the Synology NAS platform. We've got lots of apps from Synology themselves, those lovely first party ones, but if you scroll down, you have a whole host of third party apps down here. That said, there are actually a lot more than this, and there's another platform known as Sino Community that contains a whole host of other applications that help you improve the way you can utilize your data within a Synology NAS. Now, a number of these are apps that we've heard of before in third party form. Others are ones that only the more technically versed will have heard of. And most of them, if not all of them, are applications that Synology do not support officially. Some of them are applications that they used to support, but no longer do. And others are just ones that they've chosen they don't want to support at all. So how do you take advantage of this? Well, if you head over to the Sino community page, you can see an overview of all those applications there. And if you log into your own Synology NAS and open up the package center, once you've got it there in front of you, it doesn't matter which one of these tabs on the left you go to, head up to the top and click settings. From settings, scroll down and go to any publisher. Click the any publisher button and click OK. Then go back into the application settings, then go to package sources and click add. Now from here, call uh, the new store you want. So I'm going to call this Synology Community. And then the location, you need to paste this address, HTTP colon slash slash packages dot dot com slash. Once you've entered that there, click OK. And once that's confirmed, it will let you know that it's adding this store to your collection. Click OK and then click OK again. And up here, you may notice that the community tab has now been added. And from here, you can now view all of these other applications, all of which can be installed on your Synology NAS. And there are a bunch of ones on here with regards to Home Assistance and IoT, something that Synology is still in early days with regards to accessing. And there are even more applications with regards to disk performance and background integrity checks. Now, it's worth mentioning a couple of things off the bat. First and foremost, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot do this without having a backup of your data. It's not worth risking all of the lovely data on your Synology now. So please, please, please make sure you've got at least an off-site backup, a USB backup, uh, a cloud backup, or a NAS to NAS backup before going into this. Because these are unofficial apps and it's not worth risking your data for unofficial free applications. So just make sure your data is backed up. The second thing to remember, that these applications are not Synology supported. So although it's highly unlikely that these will do anything particularly negative to your system, that are highly unlikely they will brick your Synology NAS, Synology will not support you in the event of there being a problem with these apps. So you do this at your own risk and you should definitely make sure that you understand what you are doing before you start installing some of these more customized apps. And of course, once again, Make sure your backup is up to date. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Click like to learn more. Let me know in the comments if there's any apps of particular note that you want to see a software overview of. Click subscribe to learn more, and I'll see you next time.